Why in the world do I go to New England in the beginning of February on retreat? There's something cozy about being warm in a little room with my eyes closed, but actually I prefer to go outside and to see how the natural world can be a reflection of my own awareness and what I can learn. The thing I always notice when I first get on retreat is how everything looks solid. I'm not really aware of kind of the subtlety that informs my experience. It's kind of, it is what it is. But then inevitably, when I begin to settle down, I begin to sense how that there is something beyond just kind of form and space. There's a lot of movement. And of course, the first thing I notice is the ridiculous movement of the mind. How the mind is filled with a never-ending commentary, usually quite illogical. But as I stay with that, I begin to notice too how there's a relationship between everything and everything else. When I move through space, the relationship from one object to another and how that shifts. But internally, this inner relationship between form and feeling and perception and consciousness itself. One of the beautiful things about being on retreat is the opportunity to slow down and see even more subtly how what looks solid has movement. That this experience we all share is informed by impermanence. That no matter how solid it looks, that there is always some sense of something changing and we begin to see our relationship to it. For me, I began to recognize that while I was very alone on my retreat, how it's very much a shared journey. How there are those who have come before me and diligently applied themselves and made their mark in the natural world and how each of us in our own way is called to do our work, called to do our own individual expression. And that underneath it all is this recognition of constant change, our relationship to change, and this path that we all walk to discover what is true, and a recognition that all of us in our own way, no matter what, are called deeper and deeper into this investigation. What is it we know to be true?